Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Mom Boss Monday. Thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be creating a lead magnet together using Canva. Now chances are if you're here watching this video, you know what a lead magnet is, but just in case, I will leave some more information about what it is, what it's used for, and all that kinds of stuff in the description below, so check that out. But in today's video, I just wanna show you that you don't have to pay a graphic designer to create a beautiful lead magnet. You can create it faster than they would even deliver it using Canva, and I will show you how, so let's get to it. So in this video, we're not gonna go over how to use Canva. If you want to learn the ins and outs of how to use this thing, check out my video, How to Use Canva for Beginners. I'll link it up here, and then I'll also link it down in the description. So today we're going to be creating a PDF workbook, and I'm going to start off with this ebook template here. And then we're brought to this page where they give you a blank canvas where you can create your design from scratch using these elements, text, and background. But you can also make it easy on yourself by choosing one of their ready-made layouts, which is exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going with this one right here, and then it'll move over here shortly. There we go. Now that it's over here, we can start customizing it. Now to start off, I don't like all these little triangles and zigzags, not for this workbook at least. So I'm going to delete all those and then I'm just simply pressing, or not pressing, clicking on the elements and pressing the delete button on my keyboard. And this one keeps grabbing the bigger circle for some reason. Okay, there we go. And then now we're going to customize this text. The title is not great graphic design. It is your perfect customer. So simply click on the text, control A on your keyboard so that it can select it all. And then you just start typing what you want instead. Your perfect and then customer. Now I realize that it doesn't fit correctly here but I'll fix that later and you'll see why. Now next I want to get rid of this a newbies guide to. I don't need this text here. When you click on it it will select the entire thing. That's because they're connected together. They're grouped together. So we're going to ungroup so that way it separates these different text boxes. Now I can simply click on this and go ahead and delete that. Now this text at the bottom here, I like it, I wanna keep it, but I'm going to change it to my website name instead. Okay, and it looks a little weird here, so I'm going to put my cursor near this text box and wait for the four-headed arrow, and then we can move it closer towards the bottom. Now this subtitle here, I'm going to switch it to my subtitle, which is define and attract who you want to serve. And let's up the size to 28 and change the font to Quando. And then we'll probably center align it as well. Now let's customize the colors. So starting with this background, let's just select it. And once it's selected, you'll see this color box here. Go ahead and press that color box. Now these colors are separated into three different sections. So this first section are colors that are already inside your document. The next colors are brand colors that you set and you have this option if you pay for Canva for work. And it's just a monthly fee if you're subscribed. The next is the default palette. And then you can always press this plus button and it will give you a color wheel for you to play around with. But I'm using these brand colors here. For the background, I'm using this ivory color. And then now let's go customize these little circles here. I'm going with a purple, this turquoise greenish color, 
and this yellow color. From here, I'm going to resize this document. Right now, it's in, it's in ebook dimensions. It's in 1410 by 2250 pixels, and I want to resize it into a US letter dimensions, which are eight by 11 inches. I just like the way a PDF document prints with US letter dimensions. Now, I could have picked a US letter dimensions here on the home page and started off from there. The reason why I went with the ebook dimensions first was because I wanted their layout options. So you see here all these layout options. The US letter doesn't have the same options. So that's why I picked the ebook first and then I'm going to resize it. So to resize it, I'm going to click File, Magical Resize, and I'll go ahead and uncheck Twitter, Social Media, and Pinterest because I don't want to resize uh, my ebook cover into those. I want to resize it only into US letter. And then just click Abra Cadabra Resize. Now this resize option is only available with the paid account, but you can just keep working on the ebook layout. It will turn out just fine. Even in print, it'll turn out well. So you don't have to pay for Canva for work to use to do this. You can just go ahead and finish up on the ebook version. So now I'm gonna finish customizing this. Let's go ahead and make this fit better. I'm just gonna move things around just to kind of make it look as even as possible. I'm not going to mess too much with it here. I just want to show you the, the basics of how to create a workbook. There we go. Now I could definitely mess with this more, but I'm going to leave it at that now. So to add the actual content to your workbook, we're going to press this add page button here. By default, it made my page ivory as the background of the cover and I'm gonna switch it back to white. I want it to be white. Now to this page, first I'm going to brand, sort of speak. On each page, I want to add my website at the bottom. So click on the page, press the T on your keyboard and then you'll get some text. You can also grab the text from over here. Just come here and click heading, subheading, or a little bit of text. Now we're going to change it to my website and then I'll change this font to, I guess that one's fine. No, I want something that you can bold. Some fonts don't let you bold. I like some that let you bold, especially if you're writing long content and you wanna do some bolding here and there, always make sure it will let you before you choose a font. So let's go with this one. That way it'll let me bold it. Now I'm gonna move it towards the bottom of the page. And to make it look a little more nicer, I'm gonna add some lines. So we go to elements, go to lines, and I'm gonna go with this dotted one here. So just make sure that you select the page where you want the element to go first because if not, it'll end up sending it to the wrong place. So I'm going to set my lines up here, my dotted line up here, and change the color to purple. And now I want the same thing on the other side, so I just press copy so that it can give me another purple dotted line to even it out on the other side. Okay, now I know all this stuff isn't as even as it can be. I just don't wanna waste your time, me trying to fidget with things, so we'll leave it at that. Next, I want to add a box for the headings. So we're gonna go back to elements, back to shapes, and grab one of these boxes and make it fit the very top of this page. Let me go ahead and change the color so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna change it to this turquoise color and I'm just making it fit at the very top. Just enough for me to add some heading up there for each page. Now I don't like how bold and colored that is so I'm gonna go ahead and press this transparency button and bring it down to about 50 or so. 
That way it's a little bit lighter and you can see the text, the black text on top of it better. Okay, so now we're going to click on this page again and we're going to type T on my keyboard so that it can give me some text. And actually, no, I shouldn't do that. I should grab text so that I can get a heading instead. So add heading. And then we're going to go ahead and start adding my content. So I like to have a Word document with all the content here so that I can just copy and paste. And that just makes it a whole lot easier. So we're going to start with the title. I'm going to copy that and paste it over here on this heading move it up and the hard work is done because now all you have to do is copy the same page for all of your content so you press this copy button here and i know that my workbook is about nine pages so i would go ahead and copy it nine times and now you can just customize each page so to start we'll start with this first page select it type the letter t on your on your keyboard and then you'll be prompted with this text box here. And then first, I'm going to put it exactly how I want it before I start adding my text. So I'm gonna move it up, scoot it over so it can cover the whole page, and left align it. And then I'll keep this font here, but I will change it to a size 14. Now it looks small here, but once you print it, it's just fine. I think you should stick with a font anywhere from size 12 to 16. And even though it looks small here, it will turn out fine once you print it or once you read it on a any digital device. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete this text here and go grab my own text, which is here. So go ahead and copy that over from my Word document and paste it here. Okay, now we have our text here, and if you wanna see it a little closer so that you can go ahead and customize it because it doesn't bring um, over the formatting from the Word document, you have to go in here and organize it. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my spaces, bold things, italicized things, just to make it easy to read. Okay, so I finished customizing the whole thing. This is what it looks like. I went in and added and changed all the headings into the section titles of my actual workbook. I added in everything here. And yeah, that's how it looks like. So it's not that difficult, it's so easy to do. You can do it in 20 minutes top. So I really encourage you to try doing this yourself instead of paying a graphic designer. I hope I explained that well, but if you happen to have any questions at all, just let me know in the comments below and I will answer them for you. Now the workbook that I showed you how to create is actually part of a giveaway of my new book, Online Business Success six fundamentals of making money online doing what you love if you want to learn more about this book i will leave a link in the description titled online business success book just click that link and it'll take you to a page where you can learn more about uh, what's inside the book and when it'll be released and that's all for today just do me a favor and please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for next week's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.